every day, those cows depend on you. You got to be there to feed them. You got to be there to milk them. And it's your mind never leaves it. You go to sleep, you fall asleep, but you sometimes wake up when you hear a cow uh, giving birth and you run out there and help that. And, and it's, it's just interwoven into your lifestyle. Everything's planned around it. Your church attendance is planned around it. Your family activities are planned around it. And, and, I, and I think, you know, more modern farms are bringing more family members back and more employees. So you can get vacation, you can get away, but it just doesn't leave your, thought, your thoughts. Pete, I hope I haven't touched on something painful for you to think about. I feel like when I asked you that question, your mind kind of flashed to what would happen if something happened to your farm. I feel like I struck a nerve. Well, you know, it is, it, it's tough out there. And I would say that um, it's, it's a lifestyle choice that people make. And it's a career choice, right? So, so I'm trained to I have a college degree. I can go get a different job. Um, but there's something about the tie to the land that it's the same land that your father or mother plowed and planted and your grandparents and your great-grandparents. And, and that's hard to, it's hard to just drop and walk away from. 